So I'm a mom and I'm really busy, which is redundant to say because I'm a mom and that should just tell you that I'm busy, right? I have a two-year-old, I have a one-year-old, and I'm due, as you can see, any day now. Um, so life is just chaotic at this stage. Needless to say, there are some things that just don't get 100% of my attention, like cleaning. My home rotates from clean to dirty in a moment's notice. So last tax season, my husband Ricky asked me to organize all of our documents and papers and receipts and all of that stuff. So I did. Kind of. <laughs> when tax season came and Ricky and I pulled everything out, he looked at me like I had seven heads and wondered how I could have possibly considered this whole mess actually organized. What I did is I took all of those documents throughout the year and I just stuffed them into a folder and it looked clean, it looked organized. But no matter how neatly I folded those little receipts and threw them into the folder, I wasn't really dealing with it the way that I should have been dealing with it. The same process works for us in our own personal lives too, with our own problems and whatever else we got going on. Uh, it's easy just to kind of spit shine the exterior and call everything good, but it's never really addressing the problems. Because uh, we can make all of our problems and we can put them into stacks, <laughs> but it's still a stack of problems. We're not dealing with it. Um, and addressing the outside appearance of things isn't really doing the work at all. So what do we do when we feel this thing called guilt? Well, I know what I do, what I think most of us do. We try to ignore it. And when our conscience, you know, alerts us to the fact that we're guilty of something, that voice, our conscience, it can seem like uh, an annoying friend that we meet at a party, right? We're like, oh no, Frank's here, quick, what do we do? Hide, jump out the window. Uh, it's like physical pain, this guilt. We don't like being in pain, obviously. And so we medicate, we distract ourselves. But pain can be a good thing in the sense that it alerts us to the fact that something's not right with the body and it needs to be addressed. If you put your hand on a stove, you know, immediately you're going to feel the pain because those nerves are telling your brain that damage is being done. And in the same way, what our nerves are for our body, our conscience is for our soul. And just because I'm numb and I don't feel anything doesn't mean that no injury is being caused. It just means I'm not perceiving the cause. That painful feeling inside, that regret, that guilt, God can actually use it for good to call us back to himself. But if that's the case, why don't we listen to the voice of conscience inside of us more? Many times, we just don't want to change. We just want to keep doing what we're doing. So if I go that route, uh, I've got to do everything I can to avoid those negative feelings inside me. I mean, who wants to have guilty feelings gnawing at themselves all the time? So I've got to desperately convince myself that what I'm doing is okay. Now, what's our biggest tool for keeping all this stuff suppressed? I think if we let it go on long enough, we end up turning to things like alcohol, porn, drugs, or whatever to numb ourselves. But I think the first thing we do is we rationalize. And we've all been there. I've been there so many times. I try to convince myself that it's not a big deal. I remember or try to believe that everyone else has done it, that I'm not a bad person. But at the end of the day, what happens to me and what really happens to all of us is we have to make a choice. Will we change our actions and do what's right? Or will we change our ideas instead to justify doing what we know to be wrong? There's a great quote from this uh, philosopher, his name's Roger Scruton. Guilt and shame are often justified, and what they demand of us isn't therapy in order to remove them, but right conduct so that they have no need to occur. So we have to make a choice, right? Will we change our actions and do what's right? or change our idea about what's right so we can justify our actions and do whatever we want. 